Did you know that there are some habits that drain your confidence and make you feel terrible about yourself? Having low confidence will affect not only your emotional and social life, it can even have a big impact on your overall health. According to research, there are 10 common habits that you might be doing that are destroying your confidence and making you feel bad about yourself without even realizing it. So what are these habits, and how can you avoid them to increase your confidence? After watching this video, you will know the answers to all these questions. So keep watching this video to find out if you're currently doing any of them. If you are new here, subscribe for more social psychology videos and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed. I will try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. Let's start. Number 10. Hanging around negative people. You may think that it's not so bad that your friends are negative and you're the positive one. You're the one that always lightens up the mood and you're very optimistic in contrast to your friends. However, this kind of relationship leeches on your confidence and self-esteem. With time, you'll begin to notice that these negative people are messing with the way you think and they'll make you feel like a failure. It's best to surround yourself with positive people who love you unconditionally, even when you mess up sometimes. Number 9. Craving Perfection Perfectionism is a disease that is slowly eating away the confidence of many people. Although it might feel like you just want to be the best version of yourself, it is impossible to be perfect. This realization can be particularly damaging to the confidence of people who want to be perfect. If you're constantly striving for perfection, you will always be flawed, your confidence levels will always be low, and your stress levels will rise. So instead of craving perfection, try as much as possible to put your best into everything you do. This way you encourage yourself, believe in your abilities, and become more confident. Number 8. Being a control freak. Everyone wants to be in charge of their life, but it's important to understand that we can't control the flow of things all the time. Instead, you can try focusing on what you can do and how your actions will affect others around you. You will find that this mentality works better than trying to micromanage every detail of your life or business. The desire for complete control over one's surroundings is practically universal. We believe that if we just had more control over our lives, everything would go smoothly and effortlessly. But this isn't necessarily true. While there are certain aspects of life that we have some degree of influence over, a larger part is out of our hands. Most people accept this reality because they understand this fact. However, control freaks insist on believing otherwise. They believe that if only life were easier, everything would work out fine regardless of what happened along the way. Having this mentality increases your stress level and damages your confidence. Number 7. Focusing only on negative things about yourself. When you focus only on the negative things about yourself, it's easy to get discouraged and feel like you're not good enough. But remember that there are ways to change your perception. Focusing on a few positive things, which can be as simple as saying things like, I'm a great artist or I'm a great friend, boosts your self-esteem. The idea is that if you keep saying positive things about yourself over and over again, eventually they'll start becoming true for you too. Focus on what you can do rather than what others expect of you. For example, if someone says something negative about your looks or another aspect of who you are, ask them why they think so. Listen carefully while they explain themselves without interrupting them until they're done talking. Then thank them by telling them how much it means to you to hear what they have said. When you live like this, you'll start noticing that negative words no longer have any effect on your emotions or mental health. Number 6. Allowing others to define your life you have to be willing to take risks. You have to be willing to fail and then you have the opportunity to learn from your mistakes. You also need some space in your life for change and growth. And that can only happen if you're living a life outside of what others expect of you or want for themselves. The past is an important part of who we are today, but it doesn't define who we will become tomorrow. It's just another chapter in our story that serves as a foundation on which we build greater things tomorrow. So in order to exude that confidence, focus on living your life the way you want it, rather than going by the standards others have set for you. 
Number 5. Overfocusing on the Past When you dwell on the past, it's easy to lose sight of what's most important. You start to feel like a victim and this can lead to self-doubt. The truth is that no matter how hard you try or what good intentions you have, life won't be different than it was before because there are no guarantees in this world, and certainly not for us humans. We can only control our own actions and emotions. Therefore, we must focus on making positive changes instead of dwelling on our mistakes from years ago or worrying about what others might think about us now. Number 4. Letting Your Mind Run Wild Your mind is a powerful thing. If you are not paying attention to it, it can do some pretty crazy things. This is why we often find ourselves making decisions that are not in our best interest or even in the best interest of others around us. How does this affect your confidence? When your mind is running wild, it's hard for you to trust yourself and other people because there's no guarantee that what comes out of your mouth will make sense or seem like something someone else would say or understand. Number 3. Staying in your comfort zone It's easy to stay in your comfort zone. You're not out of touch with reality and you know what's best for yourself. But staying in your comfort zone can lead to a boring life and unhappiness, so it's important that you challenge yourself from time to time. Some people call this self-esteem, others call it confidence. But either way, knowing how to build confidence is key if we want anything more than a boring existence filled with mediocrity and uncertainty about our future success. So instead of relaxing in your room, get up, challenge yourself, push yourself to achieve things, and build that self-confidence you desire. Number 2. Trying to please everyone You may have heard the phrase, you can't please everyone. This is true, but it doesn't mean you have to lose your confidence and become a pushover. In fact, trying to please everyone can actually make you feel bad about yourself and your ability to handle situations. Instead of trying so hard not to upset anyone, focus on being authentic with who you are. And that's what makes people like you. If someone complains about something in your life, don't take it personally. Doing so will make you more relaxed in social situations because you won't be worrying about what people think of you anymore. Just enjoy yourself. Number 1. Following the crowd Following the crowd is one of the most common habits that destroys your confidence. It's not just about being part of a group, but also following their lead and doing what they do. But why does this happen? It's because when you follow the crowd, you end up looking like everyone else and making people think that you're just another person in the same boat as them, which is far from true. If everyone around us looks and acts like they belong together, then we'll feel more comfortable joining them too. This reduces your confidence because it makes you want to forget who you are just to fit in with that crowd. Final Thoughts As you can see, you have more power over your confidence than you might think. In fact, there are things you can do to change how you feel about yourself and how others see you. One of the biggest factors in feeling confident is self-esteem, the belief that we're worthy of being respected and accepted by others. Confidence is important because it helps us feel good about ourselves, which leads to better relationships with our friends, family members, coworkers, and even strangers on the street. What other habits do you think might destroy your confidence level? Let us know in the comments section. We would love to hear from you. Now, you need to watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. It will show you 11 proven habits that make you smarter every day. Make sure to watch it now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.